Napa Krapa, Miss Ali and Nard White Real Godfather, so please subscribe As I watch a video, I have to do it every time Share with my friends, comment, like Rapa Krapa, the struggle is alive the intellect so the damn thing connect right what's up my beautiful people what's up what's up what's up what's up here we are going my beautiful people i haven't watched all of this video yet but so far me i tell you say yo it look i don't even know what to say but here we are going make go check it out initially it was a request from the family and we went along with it but our tagline for our funeral home is every life is unique therefore every funeral should be unique so we live up to that. We are a group of young people that are making a very different and a high impact in funeral industry, in this funeral industry. We are qualified funeral directors and embalmers. And we are just showing off our talent and which we could do. Funeral is not something to be sad about. You know, we show we we we, we, we um we we showcase the person as a uh, how they would have been alive, yeah. how how you would have remembered them alive, and that is all we are doing here today by having the disease sitting in this chair and being um carried around into the community that he would have been in and due to his unfortunate death now you said that um it initially it was a request from the family when you heard the request um and provided that it's something that you have never done before um what was the process did you have to go and research it what was that process like so we have a list of things that we want to put out there to the public this was one of the stuff on our list so we would have done our homework way before the request and we know exactly what to do. We know exactly how to embalm the deceased, exactly how to place him on the chair, and exactly how to put him in that position to stay there so that he'll have a sturdy drive. And no slip, no slip or any mistakes would have to happen on a day like today. And of course, shocking the public. I know the public is very amazed at this, what we have done. Because right? I was going to ask you, what has the response been like from persons? I, I know you would have driven him through the streets before yeah. coming to the church. What has that response been like? Um, the response has been very good because we have, um, because people haven't seen this before. They are very inclined to it. Some people even call the funeral home and ask that if when they die, if, if they could be placed standing rather than sitting. Some, some, some call and say that they ride motorcycles and they want to be placed on a motorcycle. So public has been responding to it in a positive way. But you've so, had one or two negative comments, yeah, right? So, what, what, has, what, what has that feedback been like? Um, you can't just go with what our grandfathers and our forefathers would have done before. So hence we are changing things around, right? Were, and we have were, plenty were more scared? things. Were scared? Were people scared at all? Um, people um, wasn't scared. Um, I just think some people were just very surprised. They are very surprised of the manner and which it is done. I think people are more curious as to how he's staying there without moving. People are more curious to that rather than being, um, being scared of the deceased. Um, a gentleman even came to the funeral today and was asking where the deceased is. When he saw the deceased, he was rather, rather surprised. Um, who is the embalmer? Right, the, Nathaniel, Denny and myself are the embalmers. All right. So, can you then give me an idea of the embalming process? How how the how does this differ from what you would normally do? Right. So, to embalm someone, embalming someone just means preserving the person using embalming fluid and replacing that fluid with other fluid, with replacing that with the blood in the system of their body. Um, the only difference is that would have changed in embalming does it? Is that we have to set him in a particular position before embalming, right? He would have been embalmed over a period of two days, and he would have been in that position for about four days before today. So I have a question: What happens after the service in after. terms of burial or cremation? What happens? So after the service, we are heading to the um, Dago Martin Public Cemetery for burial, and he'll be placed in his casket there. There will be no um, issues in placing him in his casket because he will lie flat because we embalm him in a, such a manner that his legs are free to movement. Okay, um, so that, but that, that would also mean that his midsection has to be free to movement? No, just his, just his arm, just his knees. John was tired. Yo, man, tell you know what these are people. Not no simple again, you know. Yo, but you see, when this guy said people are calling him because they say if they can bury or embalm them standing up and riding bike or stuff like that, the old piece there, is from um it's not mystical um i believe it's from brazil or one of those country you understand that's what they do so if you used to ride a bike one time on your night night then place you 
on your bike or your nine night, them them have your stand up in a, your dance in a party as well with glass and everything. So this what he's doing is not the first to do it. This is nothing new. As I said, this has been done before. I also review a video, as I said, like this before in a the same um, I think if I'm a mystical, um I think I'm mystical. But one of them places the people, I know. 100% sure about one of them prettier countries. You see me I say? So, that's how this come about. And that's the first time I see it. You see me I say? Them have the body, them stand up, them have them sit down. Them have them position for a bike. Especially one of the youth who used to love bike. And him did die in a bike accident. Them place him on him bike at nine night. Everybody walking in front of them come in. And next one, he... Them can go rave, the body got a party, and the body stand up in a party in a dark as and them put drinks now and and them the round him a go on a bag of things. And me, I say, Yo, John, no star. The struggle is real. But my beautiful people, let me know what you guys think about the saga. This is in Trinidad. Let me know what you think about it, or if you would like to a place like that to either bury in that manner or a place like that on your nine night. Are at the church. Let me know what you guys would do, what you would like as well. The struggle is real, my crocodile tail. Um, taste is snack, um, just eat. Oh, oh my god, I told you I told you I was hungry and you didn't cook no food, man. My plan plan to add some food from Tasty Snack. Tasty Snack closed. This is locked down now. What are you talking about? Yo, them people and just eat. Not because of coronavirus, some other pieces of them locked down. Really? Come on, look. Come on. See them, all you, you need to do. I don't, if you don't have the Just Eat app, download it. If you don't download it, just go on Google. Once you go on Google and type in Tasty Snack. Yeah. So, do they have the whole menu like when you go to the restaurant? Yeah, man. And the seafood? Oh. See the seafood. Deep seafood. fried prawn. Deep fried cal. When have I get the calamari there yet, you know? Well, see them there. Well, I'm going to be there. Oh, they have the jerk lamb, yes. And that me want me Hurry up, hold them when I'm hungry. All right, then. See, me have this in a stress, man. Because you remember when you love the seafood? Me say, all right, me wait till you come. Then we just add and you remember when you say, much more easy. Yes, that's already, man. No, but see this, me did add that you don't even see the calamari. You understand? Although, me wish me even had that because I sound like a mari. Just order that food, man. All right, okay, all right.